In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record your computer screen and your on-screen narration, your talking head, at the same time using just QuickTime Player on the Mac. Hey, it's Mike with more tips and tutorials to help you create great video for your YouTube channel, video marketing, or online courses. Thank you for being here, and if you haven't already, hit that big subscribe button, and don't forget to click the little bell icon so you don't miss a thing. You know, QuickTime Player is a simple little media creation tool with remarkable capabilities that comes bundled with your Mac for free. You can use it to record high quality audio, video, your computer screen, or all three at the same time. That's right, using only QuickTime Player on the Mac, you can record your computer screen, microphone audio, and your webcam together to create that picture-in-picture -picture style video you see so often in webinars, online courses, and many YouTube videos. Interested in finding out how to do it? Then let's jump into it. All right, so here we are on my Mac. Now to set up my QuickTime Player picture-in-picture -picture screen recording, the first thing I'm gonna do is launch QuickTime Player. Now there's two ways you can do that. You can go into the Finder and into the Applications folder and select QuickTime there, or you can go up to this top menu here to this magnifying glass icon, select that, and you get Spotlight Search. Now I can just start typing in QuickTime Player in there, and it comes up in the search results, and I'll just double click that, and now QuickTime Player is launched. Now, the first element I want to add to my screen recording, this picture-in-picture -picture screen recording, is my webcam or my face cam. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to the top menu here, and under File, I'm gonna select New Movie Recording. And that brings up my webcam. This is the Movie Recording window. And if you take a quick look at it, you can see you have your big record button down here. And then there's this arrow, this down arrow. If you click it, you get some options. So here you can select your camera, the built-in FaceTime, or in this case, I'm using my Logitech C920 HD 1080p webcam great quality great price and then you can select your microphone here and it really doesn't matter in this setup what microphone you select here because we're actually not going to be using the sound from this movie recording window we're just using the video image and down here we have quality again this depends on the quality you want to record there's high quality which is usually 720p and then maximum is the maximum your camera or your system can record high is fine for our purposes because what we're going to do here is now that that's selected we're going to shrink down this window we're just going to grab the corner here and uh if i can grab it here we go <laughs> and we're going to shrink it down and it only gets this small you can only shrink it down this much but that's fine and we're going to place it in the lower right hand corner now you can place it anywhere you want on the screen i'm just going to place it down here so as you can see Choosing high quality or maximum quality doesn't really matter because the window is going to be pretty small. Okay, so this is our webcam or our face cam for our picture in picture. The next thing we're going to do is set up our screen recorder. And to do that, we're going to go back up to the top menu bar here with QuickTime still selected. We're going to select File. And as you can see, the only new thing that we can select here is a new screen recording so we'll select that and it just popped on my other screen I'll just bring it over here and that is the screen recording interface and here you have a few options along with that big red recording button so let's just click this down arrow to see the options and here you can select your microphone now here is where you want to select the microphone you're going to use for your screen recording. This is the microphone that's actually going to capture the sound of your voice. So in my case, I already have my Audio-Technica 2020 USB Plus selected. That's the mic I'm using right now. And then down here, we have some other options. Show mouse clicks in recording. Now what this does is in your recording, it'll show a graphical highlight everywhere you click the mouse which is great if you want to track the movement of the mouse on the screen. We don't need that for this demo, so I'll leave that unchecked. So this is all set up. And so now with the screen recorder set up, 
and our face cam down here set up, I can press the record button here to start now. This is the record button you would press to record your picture-in-picture -picture screen recording, not this recording button down here on our face cam. Okay, so don't touch that, you don't need to. Because what's gonna happen is the screen recorder is going to record all of the screen, including our face cam down at the bottom. Okay, so let's start recording. So I'm gonna press the record button here, and I get this prompt, click to record the full screen, drag to record part of the screen, and recording by clicking the stop button in the menu bar. So if I click the screen right now, I'll start recording the entire screen. Now, there may be a case where you wanna just make a selection. Maybe there's a certain app window that's open that you wanna record. So you would then, in that case, click and drag to make a selection, and everything in that selection will be recorded. Now, keep in mind, if you want to use that face cam shot down there, it needs to be included in the selection. If it's not included in the selection, it won't be recorded with your screen record. You'll hear your voice, but you won't see your face cam. So just keep that in mind. I'll escape out of that and reset the screen record. And now I'll record for real. I'll hit the record button, and then I'll click the screen to record the entire screen and we're recording. And as you can see, there's my face cam shot down in the bottom corner, and here is my desktop. It's kind of a boring screen record, so let's open up an application, because I want to show you something. So I'm going to open up an app window. I'm actually going to open a browser window. And here we are. It's my website, michaelkinney.com. Little plug. And so let's say I wanted to demonstrate or demo or walk through my website here with my face cam. Just wanted to walk through and show people, give them a tour. But say I wanted to make the, the browser window more prominent, so I just drag it out here. Rather, I'd stretch it out. Let me just grab the double arrow here and I'd stretch it out. And, uh-oh, where <laughs> the face cam, <laughs> where's my face? It's covered by this browser window. Well, that's not what I want. Is this a problem? Can I fix this? Well, yes, it's very easy, actually. If you make sure that QuickTime Player is selected and active, you go up here to the top, under the View menu, you select Float on Top. And watch what happens. I'll select that. And now I'll grab the browser window to make it active. And look at that. My face cam shot stays on top of the active browser window. And that's because I selected float on top. And this will happen with any app window. Your face cam, if it's set to float on top, will float or stay on top of everything else. Now, there's one big limitation with float on top, however, and I'll show you. If you decide you want to go or enter full screen, okay, let's just do that. Say I want to go full screen with this browser window. I go to this little green full screen button here in the top left corner. Now I'm full screen, but look, my face cam has disappeared. And that's because when you enter full screen, it takes over the entire screen and your face cam will not show up even if you have float on top selected. So let's get out of this here. I'll just go down here reduce the size of this window and we're back and there's my face cam so if you want to have app windows open big on your screen like almost full screen the best thing to do is to size them up manually like this now there's just one more gotcha i just want to show you here when i watch when i mouse over my uh, face cam shot here with my mouse you see the QuickTime movie recording interface comes up. That's gonna show up in your screen record. So you might wanna be careful not to hover over this. I, for some people it may not matter, but I just thought I'd point that out that this will be included in your recording. All right, well let's stop this recording and see what we've got. Now there's two ways you can stop your recording. One way 
is to go up to the top menu bar here and click the stop button here. And another way to stop is a keyboard shortcut, which is command control escape. So I'll do command control escape and my recording stops and a playback window automatically pops up here. So what I'm going to do here, just to make this less confusing, I'm going to size down my record, my recorded screencast here with my face cam. And I'm also going to close my face cam so it's not so confusing. And so here we are, we have our recording. So let's play it back and see what we've got. We're recording. And as you can see, there's okay, my so I can see my face cam is there, and there's my desktop, and it seems to be going pretty well. And I can hear if you listen, because I want to show you something. So I'm going to open up an app window. I'm actually going to open a browser window, and you can see, and here we are. It's that my audio, my voice narration, even though it's being captured by the microphone in the screen recorder, syncs up perfectly to the video of my talking head in my face cam shot. And show people, give them a tour. But say I wanted to make the... All right, let's just stop this. So now if you're happy with your recording, you can save it out. You'd simply go up to the QuickTime menu and under File, you would select Save. And that's how using just QuickTime Player, you can create sophisticated picture-in-picture -picture style screen recordings. Now, in this tutorial, I showed you how to include just your microphone sound in your final screen recording. If you want to also include computer sounds, say from an application or a video, you're gonna need an additional piece of software. QuickTime Player can't record computer sound on its own, at least not at the time of this recording. Now, if you really want to know how to record computer sounds using the QuickTime Player Screen Recorder on the Mac, I made a detailed tutorial that shows you exactly how to do that using an additional piece of free software. The link to that tutorial should be on the screen right now. The link is also in the description below. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found value in it. And if you want more low-cost tips and tutorials for creating great video for your YouTube channel, your video marketing, or your online courses, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.